What is going on guys, it's Wava here, welcome back to some more of Blightfall. Now, last time we left off, we worked on a little bit more of this, uh, this Thomcraft stuff, you know. We made these little crystallizer things over here, I, I since made a second one right there, so we can get double the crystals at half the time, so that could definitely help out quite a lot. And since then, I've just been, you know, crystallizing a lot of stuff, you know, just emptying these jars and, you know, letting the essence flow through the pipes, just you know, crystallizing like that, and of course just throwing items inside the, uh, the whatever these are called, <laughs> and letting them crystallize like that as well. And, uh, yeah, I think they're nice and done. I could probably close up these valves now, right? Yep, close those up since I'm not using them. And, uh, we could just check inside the- oh yeah, I moved them all over here. But, uh, yeah, look at that. We have an absolute ton. We're going to need this Vidium stuff. We're going to need a Precantitio stuff. We're going to need Urba, Sano, and is that it? I don't know. Let's check. See, because I want to make these ethereal blooms. So we have Precantitio, Sano, Herba, and Vidium. I think we've got it. Uh, that's four essence things, right? No, just four of them. Okay. I think we've you guys. I think we've got it. Let's get our shimmer leaves. Uh, there we go. 51 of those bad boys. And uh clear out our hot bar real quick so we can easily and quickly throw all of the respective items down there. And let's get our Thaumonomicon. I think, uh, Vidium is the one that we have to put- Yeah, Vidium's the one that we have to put 8 of, and then 16 of everything else. So, let's just make sure everything here is spot on. So we need 16 Herba. So let's actually count these out in our inventory real quick. So, uh, oh, whoops. So, let's see. We're gonna need 16 Herba. Uh, then Vidium is the- Oh, wow, we have- How much Vidium do I have? There's a whole stack right there. Oh wow, almost two stacks of that Vidium stuff, jeez. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, organize them inside my inventory. So we need eight Vidium. Uh, Precantitio, we're gonna need 16 of that, so... There we go. And then, uh, third, or, uh, 16 of the Sano stuff. So there's that, and then we can put up the extras over here, because we just want to make one Ethereal Bloom, just to see if it'll work properly, so... Uh, we already have boiling water inside the Crucible. So, I suppose, without any further ado, let's just throw in the items, shall we? So, there's a little bit of that. There you go. You can see the Vidium inside there. And what if we throw the whole stack? Okay, six, eight. There's 16 there. There's 16. There's that. And then a the Shimmer Oh! <gasps> you guys, it worked! We got an Ethereal Bloom, and it was easy as that! Well, I guess it's kind of a little bit hard, because it takes forever for these to crystallize, but that's easy as heck! Wow! And how many material? We could probably, yeah, we could easily make another Ethereal Bloom right now if we felt like it. Jeez. So let's get eight of that. Uh, Lucrome, that's not it. Vidium, we're going to need 16 of that. Or, uh, no, 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 we already have enough Vidium. Jeez, we have so much Vidium. Jeez. But uh, we can get ourselves a second Ethereal Bloom real quick. Uh, Herba, we're going to need 16 of that. There we go. And I think that, no, 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 we're missing one thing. What are we missing? Oh, yeah, Precantitio. There we go. All right, let's do it again. Oh man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fantastic right now. Look at this. We're doing some casual alchemy. There you go. And then the one. Oh, whoa, oh, that's the, that's the thought when I kind of whips. Oh no, I just threw that inside there. Anyways, we got ourselves a second ethereal bloom. And I'm pretty sure we have, like, multiple Thaumonomicons, so it's not a big deal that we completely lost that one, so... Uh, let's see, yeah, there you go, there's a, <laughs> there's a backup Thaumonomicon I just have just sitting in that bookshelf. But yeah, this feels fantastic! We can make so many more of these Ethereal Blooms, and... I also want to make those, uh, those, what are they called? Totem of Dawn. Those things that, like... Uh, detate by like a whole chunk or something huge like that. I've seen videos on it and it's absolutely insane. God. Anyways, let's look at the Thaumonomicon. I got some comments from I think two episodes ago saying instead of using the crystallizer thing to use this alchemical centrifuge and I guess I did a little bit of research on it. I didn't read this bit over here, but I think what it does is it you can you can like feed uh, I don't know. Let's see. What is an ethereal bloom made out of? Oh, I guess we never scan an ethereal bloom, right? Guess we never have. At least now that we have all the uh, essence. Th oh yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, it has that like cycle thing. What's that called? Permatatio. Why does it have that permatatio? That's the only thing that isn't uh, in the recipe for the. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably stop that thing from boiling over. Oof, it probably has all that thumbcraft stuff stuck inside of there. There you go. All right, huh? All right. Now we don't have to worry about like taint boiling over. Anyways, uh, I got some comments saying to make this thing, but I think basically all it does is like if we put uh, I don't know like like I remember sugarcane was like water and air and something else. Uh, we could put sugarcane inside of it, 
and then it will like turn the the sugar cane into water and air like particles or something i don't i don't know but i guess we try it just in case we really want to make something here in the future so we're going to need ourselves an alchemical construct and those require the vis filters the essentia valves and essentia tubes so that shouldn't be too hard and then two essentia tubes that are just yeah easy peasy then a piston and then another arc or uh, arcane alembic yeah and then you need to put this thing i think on top of a crucible and yeah i think that's pretty much it oh yeah and then you need to make a what is it called this thing right here essential buffer and that's basically what like you know pipes into your jar system i guess you could call it <laughs> but yeah that i guess it's uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could do that. Yeah, it's one way of us getting those primal aspects, which I'm sure the uh, the technical term is called primal aspect. So, oh man, I forgot to make that ME, wireless ME terminal thing. God, uh, why do I keep forgetting that? Anyways, let's look at the Thalmanomicon. Let's see, what are we going to need for that? Uh, we're just going to need... Oh, yeah, pretty much everything over here is already over that... that uh, that thomonom thom th th thomcraft area god <laughs> i can't speak english all of a sudden but we're gonna need those vis filters which is this gold ingots with silverwood planks around it and we need to put our wand back up like so and there you go silverwood ingots there you go vis filters i think we might need two of those so let's just get two of them just to be safe and what else are we gonna need so we're gonna need the alchemical thingy thing. We're also gonna need some essential tubes. I don't know if we have any essential tube. Yeah, we have one essential tube right there. And we don't have any more. I'm pretty sure we have extras over here that I could just grab. So two, three. And how many are you gonna need in total? Uh so we just need two for the final thing, but we're gonna need four for the alchemical construct. So uh how many do we have right now? We have three, so there's four, five, and six. Okay. Well, there we go. And, uh, let's just see. Let's just make this alchemical construct real quick. So, what was the recipe for that again? God, I keep forgetting. Uh, we're going, oh yeah, essential valves. So, we're going to need to take two more of these and, and valve them off. So, do we have any essential valve ones over here? We might. If not, I'll just grab one. Yeah, I'll just grab that one right there. That's not connected to any jars. Just so it's a lot easier, you know. Anyways, let's make this, uh, this whatever it's called. Al arcane construct, alembic, whatever it's called. Uh, oh yeah, we need, we need two valves, don't we? It might be, am I going crazy here? Yeah, we need two, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, well, let's find an empty jar, there you go, empty jar right there, because it's not connected to anything that's useful, so we can just use this extra valve like so, make the little shape like that, and what are we going to need in the middle? Oh yeah, this filter's like that, and then great wood planks in the middle, yeah, I remember that. Uh, where's the great wood? Where do I have any great wood over here? Huh. All right, well, let's grab our a bloodwood axe and grab a one singular log from our great wood tree. Man, this is great having this. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that pun right there, but it's actually fantastic to have a great wood tree just like right there. You know, I, I remember earlier I was just like, we don't know. I don't even know where it's great wood tree. And I went all the way over to that redwood over there. I thought that was a great wood tree, but it wasn't. And, you know, we we're having all kinds of problems. But now everything just feels fantastic. Anyways, we're going to need two more essential tubes and arcane alembic, which requires uh oh just one of his filter a bucket gold ingots and some iron so let's grab a little bit of iron we already have gold in our inventory and we can just do this there you go like that i believe and then gold on the corner and then we're gonna need a bucket i think we have a bucket yeah we have a bucket right there uh, he's actually yeah let's fill up that cauldron just in case we need water inside of it i don't want to have to craft another bucket just to get a little bit of water inside of there so let's put water in there before we get rid of the bucket and where's the arcane alembic up oh, there you go all right there's the alembic and we have the construct right now we're going to need two more wires i believe yeah we're going to need two more of those tubes and a piston so let's see where is i guess we yeah, i guess we can grab these two right here <laughs> they're not really connected up to anything and i guess i could craft more of them here in the future but i'll probably save that up for oh wait a second i already have a sense of tubes here what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyways, we're going to need to make ourselves a piston, so we need to get some planks, cobblestone, one redstone, and uh, I think one iron. I think that's it, right? Let's type in piston. Let's just let this thing auto craft. So there you go. It's just a regular piston, right? Not a not a sticky one. I think it's just a regular one. Uh, yep, just a regular old piston. All right, well, let's go over there and let's go craft this thing. And then we also need to craft that. Uh, What's it called? The little thing back here so it's just going to need glass files restricted essential tubes uh, two regular essential tubes one valved one and one restricted one which is uh 
I guess just any type of stone with a center tube. Huh. Okay, well, we still have those glass files that I just never used. And apparently, glass files, like if you right-click the Alembic, remember we're trying to right-click the Alembic? Apparently, you need to have eight essence inside of the Alembic to fill up the glass file, or else it just won't fill up, you know? It doesn't, like, halfway fill up like those jars over there. It's either full or it's not full. So that's something I had to learn. Uh, what do, what do we, what do I come over here for? God, my memory is just awful whenever I'm playing Blightfall, man. Oh yeah, we want to get these glass files, so we need four of these. Uh, there you go. And then let's just look at the recipe again, because that's probably going to help me refresh my memory. Uh, oh yeah, stone. We're also going to need, like, two stones, so I guess just any type of smooth stone. There you go. Two stone, combine that with the, the tubes, and I think we'll be good to go. I think we'll have our, our whole entire setup done. So I want to make the, uh, what's this thing? It's called like an automa automatic something. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> We're going to need essential tubes like so. Uh, alchemical centrifuge. Oh, okay. And I think, uh, oh, no, no, no. No, this is a different thing. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's two different machines. Uh, automated alchemy, that's the other one I was thinking about that you put on top of the, uh, the cauldron. And we have to do some research for that one first, though. But for this one, this is the centrifuge that... I think... I, yeah, I think I got this one right. Oh, yeah, because uh, the thing that I just made, the automatic thing, that's what, like, automatically crafts stuff. So if we, uh, if we wanted to, like, I guess it'll work with... Ethereal blooms. If we wanted to make ethereal blooms or make uh, shiny thom thomomium ingots or whatever, you know, the, the iron that's combined with the, the taint stuff, then we could do that inside the automatic thing. So I guess I'll just have to do a little bit of research for this thing real quick. Oh, whew. now that, that is, <laughs> I might have to, I know there's a cheat thing on Google. You can just go to like a thomcraft research table cheat sheet thing. I think I'm going to have to actually use that for this one. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm going to do the research for this, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright, so we have the research for this. I completely cheated that in, by the way, just so I let you guys know. But there you go, we discovered the automated alchemy thing, and I think all we have to do is put uh, two of the... Oh, whoops, that's not, that's not the Thalmanomicon. I think we have to put two of the, uh, yeah, two of these alchemical construct things on top of our... Uh, Cauldron that crucible. Why can I never remember the the second name for that thing? Jeez, but uh, we're going to need to make two more of those things. And uh, how's our other thing going? Uh, I completely forgot because I was doing that research. But we're making this alchemical centrifuge, yeah. And then what about that buffer thing? How do you make that buffer thing again? Okay, yeah, glass files. And then we needed two essential tubes. So let's get those glass files up here. I think those go on the corner, right? There's that. And let's look at it again. And you need an essential valve, and then two regular essential tubes, so two regular ones, and then one restricted one, which is, I guess I have to craft real quick. So one essential tube with a stone, there you go, restricted. And then we need two essential tubes on the side, glass files on the corner, and then the restricted one there. And then we need to get a valved one, so let's find another empty, there you go, empty water jar, and... Uh, I'm thinking here, yeah, I, I could probably put this, uh, put that back, put that, why can't I not put it back? Huh? Is that, that's kind of weird. Usually I could put the, um, do I have to have it on a full block or something? Let's get some silver wood planks. Get that, uh, get that jar out of the way. I don't know why, I keep running into these problems where I can't put the, put the, yeah, there you go. Alright, I guess maybe because the jar isn't technically a full, full size block, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, let's put the jar back, there we go, and let's just get rid of, yeah, let's get rid of this one, since they're, it's right next to one that's not connected anyway, so it shouldn't, like, uh, interfere with us getting two crystallizers. So what are we going to need to, oh yeah, we just need to put this valve at the top, there you go, there's the essential buffer, and I don't think it really matters where we put this, you know? I think we just put it anywhere, right? Like, we could just put it here, right? So, uh, I think this one has to be... Yeah, I think this, 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 uh, what's it called? Alchemical? I think this one has to be connected on the bottom. Yeah, there you go. And then this one has to go on top of it. Like this. Yeah, and it can just connect wherever. So there's that. And we can go inside the centrifuge, maybe? Uh, how do we send something into the, Oh, I guess we, to send something into there, we just kinda... What do we want to get, like, knocked down to? It's, like, essential like, parts, I guess. That one, that one's aqua, so we don't want to knock that one. There's Ordo, that's one of the primal things. 
Uh, let's try... What do we have uh, very few of? What is that? 22? Uh, what do we have very few of that I could just kind of get rid of? Oh, one per... Yeah, let's use this Precantatio stuff. And there we go, the centrifuge is spinning. And I guess it's going to start filling up a jar, so let's, let's open up that. Or is it going to go into that jar? Is that working? Alright guys, I am back, and I decided to move the, the centrifuge thing, the alchemical centrifuge, away from our... I guess you could call it the jar network. I suppose, because they're all like connected together. I decided to, to disconnect it from that because I, I came up with this little design right here that's pretty simple. So you know how the centrifuge has an input on the bottom? Well, that's what this jar is for. So if we want to like split up a jar into its like primal aspects and stuff, then that's what we're going to do there. So I think, isn't, yeah, I'm pretty sure Victus can be split up into primal aspects as well. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. <laughs> Let's go make another one of those. Ah, I guess I could use a flux infused one here for a second. But my sword just recently broke as well, so let's get this, uh, this Victus. So we have two of these empty warded jars, so we can put that jar there, that jar there, and I think Victus can be broken down, right? Yep, there you go. So it's sucking the, the essence up into the centrifuge, and it's going to give us water and terra. Nice! Good stuff. How much damage does this do? Mm, not bad. <laughs> if you're wondering what this trench over here is for, it's so I can break jars uh, very easily and, you know, collect them up instead of... Because there's, like, wires in the way up here, I can't, like, break them and take them like that. So I made these little trenches so I can easily go down there. But as you can see, it's, it's sucking up the Victus. And it's putting it inside the centrifuge, breaking it down to its primal aspects, and emptying it into these two empty jars. So, I did notice that they're kind of some, they, sometimes they're very equal, and sometimes they're not. Like this one right now, uh, Terra has nine, Aqua has eight. Sometimes it's equal, sometimes it's not. I don't know. Eh, I'm not going to complain about it, because we're getting a lot of, like, Aqua and stuff, and we can easily combine those. Uh, to get other aspects, more useful aspects, of course. But yeah, anyways, right here is Crucible. Uh, I decided to move the Crucible away from our network again because, you know, I guess it kind of taints or uh, <laughs> taint. It kind of, yeah, I guess it does kind of taint it up a bit. It'll, it'll just make it a lot easier whenever it's like in its own little closed network, kind of like the centrifuge over here. So uh, basically, we have to right click it with a wand, and I think we have enough, yeah, we have enough stuff. To turn it into the alchemical construct. Perfect. All right. So does this have water inside of it? I don't remember if I put water inside the crucible before I put the things on. The okay. I don't know if it requires it though. But uh, basically, this I think I'm not 100 million billion percent sure. But I think if we get some. Uh oh yeah, I have the research note for. Uh, what's it called? Magical Metallurgy. Yeah, there it is right there. Put another Potential thing there, and then another Ordo there, and now they're connected. Okay, there's Magical magi magical Metallurgy. Did it just turn to daytime real quick, or was that just me? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, uh, Vidium. Oh, perfect. Okay, so here's some Vidium. And that's where that trench would come into play. You can see, whenever I try and break the jars from the, from the top, they just kind of go under there and they get stuck. Either way, let's hook this up to some Vidium, so we can just put some Vidium there. And I think it's going to input inside there. I think I need to go get some pipes from our Chesteru. Uh, where are they? Filtered Essentia. There's your regular Essentia tube. Hook it up like so. And I think we can just put some iron in there now. And that's going to get us the Thom... Uh, what's it called? Thom... something. Uh, what's it called again? What was this thing? Thomium. God, how did I not know that? <laughs> oh, it's Precantitio, not the... Uh, what's this one again? Vidium. Oh, we need four Precantitio. Uh, do we have any of that stuff? We might. I know we have it in crystal form, but I don't know, uh... Can you turn that back into... Uh, it's not telling me there. Hmm. I don't know if we can or not, but this is a pretty bad example. I'm not... I'm not coming up with anything right now. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. Either way, I guess I could get some Precant... Do we... Is it Precant... No, there's no Precant... Yeah, because it's like purple. Huh, okay, well, let's get an empty jar and just kind of put it down anywhere, and... <laughs> I don't know, put something inside of here that's going to get us Precantitio. Oh, man, I still need to empty some of this this tank garbage out of there first. Okay, never mind. Either way, if I had a jar of Precantitio right here, it would suck it up, put it inside of here, and I'd put an iron ingot right here, and because it requires... Oh, wait, no. Wait a second. Is that... Is that going to work? Oh, yeah, because I don't have any other Precantia. I was about to say, like, I don't have any Precantia Shio connected to this. Is it going to really let me make this Thaumium thing? Anyways, I just need to connect some, uh, some Precantia Shio. As you can see, it says four. 
and then I can grab an Athamium ingot out of there. Otherwise, I'd have to get four of those uh, shards over here, four of these Precantitio shards, throw it inside of the Crucible, throw an Iron Ingot in there, and then it would give me that Thamium. But doing it this way is a lot easier. It's a lot more... A lot more precise, I guess you could call it, so that's something I really like about this, so maybe we can use that here in the future. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode, because we got a lot of good stuff done this episode. We got, uh, we got that, what is it called? This, uh, this centrifuge thing nice and made, which we can definitely use in the future. I can't really think of anything right off the top of my head that we could use this for, but, uh, because I don't know if there's a machine that, like, combines, uh, essence into each other. Maybe it's the automated alchemy? I don't know. <laughs> but we definitely need something that will combine essences into each other to more useful stuff. Uh, liquid death. Ew. Metal purification. Oh, man, I'm getting distracted now. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, I'm probably going to be putting more trash inside the alchemical furnace and, uh, you know, liquefying it. And hopefully I'll have at least one jar, one full jar of every essence in the game. Hopefully. That's going to be really, really tough, but hopefully I can actually do that because, man, it's going to be an absolute ton of work and it's going to require an absolute ton of jars. Hopefully I have enough stuff. I think I do. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of silverwood planks and uh, turn those into silverwood. Uh, wait, oh. Where's the silverwood planks? I just, yeah, I grabbed the wrong thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> grab some of the silverwood uh, slabs like so. Grab some of the glass. Oh, wait, I just, yeah, I just used up all the glass, didn't I? So I need to make some glass, too. Dad? <laughs> oh, man, let's get some glass panes. There you go. Probably just way, made way more glass panes than I needed to right there. Oh, there you go. And uh, I need water in there, so there you go. Oh. Put the jar, there we go, geez. And we have six more warded jars, perfect. Hopefully I'll be able to actually fill up these warded jars with some essence and whatnot, and we can actually use them in the coming episodes for some future projects. Anyways, yeah, speaking of future projects, definitely wanted to get started on that golem and see thing. I think I said last episode I wanted to start it this episode, but I guess I was a little bit too distracted by the, the what is this called, the centrifuge and, and making this thing. So yeah, definitely look forward to the next episode where we're most likely going to make some golems that are going to, you know, cut down trees for us and they're basically going to be slaves. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Blightfall. Oh, bye there. Bye.